the veil. The veil prevented anyone from entering the most holy place where the Ark of the Covenant was. The veil was blue, purple, and scarlet. Blue is the color of water, and red is the color of blood. Purple is the color of royalty, kingships by the blood of Calvary, and the water of baptism. The Son of Man, Prince of Peace, Jesus was exalted to royalty, King of Kings. Exodus 26 and 31. And thou shalt make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen of cunning work. With cherubims shall it be made. The Brazen Altar. Everything that happened in the tabernacle began at the Brazen Altar. Animals were killed and burned since the Garden of Eden. God has required death for sin. At the altar the debt began to be paid. The blood was shed and remission of sins became possible. Without shedding blood, there can be no remission for sins. This animal blood appeased God until the perfect lamb was slain. Jesus Christ, all remission of sins ultimately comes by his blood. Exodus 27, 1, 8. And thou shalt make an altar. As it was showed thee in the mount, so shalt thou make it. The court. The tabernacle plan included only one entrance, and that was on the east side. Nearly all the pagan religions worshipped the sun god, facing east. God made them face west when they entered the tabernacle. The single entrance typifies Jesus Christ, the only door of our salvation. There is salvation in no other. We must turn our backs on all other gods. Exodus 27 13 through 14. The breadth of the court on the east side eastward shall be 50 cubics. The hangings of one side of the gate shall be 15 cubics, their pillars three and their sockets three. The priest holy garments. A priest is an intercessor between God and men. From its inception, the priesthood was the highest office that man could occupy. According to God instructed Moses to dress them appropriately. Holy garments would be glorious and beautiful. Herein is a great precept. Our appearance should reflect our value. The world would have us dumbed down, dressing grudgy, sloppily, like worthless creatures. God would have us look holy, glorious, and beautiful. Are you a godly person? Dress the part. Exodus 28, 2 and thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, for glory and for beauty. The word of God will accomplish where it is sent. God bless you.